This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to go over iOS 17 beta 5, which just dropped today. And I am here to tell you this is the best one yet. Let me explain. So you guys can see here, this came in at 1.12 gigabytes, which is pretty large, but it's what we've come to expect from these betas. Seems like Apple's uh, keeps pushing out these one plus gigabyte betas, which is totally fine. <laughs> if they're changing a bunch of stuff, that's cool. Now, if we take a look at the build number here, you guys can see it actually ends in a D, which means we are coming up on the end of the beta cycle, which means if you have not hopped on the train yet, now's kind of the time where you either do it or just wait until it's out. Um, if you hop on the beta train right now, it is relatively stable. There are a couple glitches and bugs here and there, but I'm going to explain to you in this video, a lot of the major issues are now fixed and it is so refreshing. So anyways, that is the build number in case you're curious. Let's talk about some of the features. We'll go over performance, battery life, and more. Now, one of the first and immediate things that I noticed when I installed this beta was that swiping between the pages is so much more fluid now. I had a little bit of stutter and lag sometimes, which I mentioned in previous videos. I know a bunch of you guys chimed in and said the same. That is mostly gone. I still have a little bit of chop when a notification comes in, when the phone's a little warm and it's doing stuff. But besides that, everything is so much smoother. It's so refreshing because I was so tired of it being sluggish. Now I noticed a couple other YouTubers already put out their videos. I don't know how they did that so quick, like without testing stuff. But I've been going in, testing a bunch of different apps and messages is faster. If you go to the photos, in messages and try to send a photo, it's a lot faster now. When you click send on a message and then leave the app, everything is smooth before it would stutter a little. Overall, messages is a lot faster. Now, besides that, the app store now has lowercase letters. So it's, you know, capital letter and then all lowercase for open. And then it's the same for update as well. So I don't know why they've changed this, uh, but it's not in all caps anymore. It kind of looks a little bit, I don't know, it's less in your face, which I guess is nice because Caps is kind of like someone screaming at you. Now, another cool feature is if you use the reminders widget, when you mark something off, now it automatically and immediately goes away. So it doesn't just sit there uh, as marked. So also a new Shazam animation if you're using that while listening to a song on your actual phone, which I'm not going to do for copyright reasons. Now, there's also something kind of strange. If you go into settings, privacy and security, and then location services and scroll all the way down to system services here, there's a new one in here called alerts and shortcuts automation. Uh, I'm assuming this has to do with the shortcuts app and allowing it to use your location. Kind of curious what this does. Um, we're going to have to find out. I guess Apple will let us know later. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here that hasn't been mentioned. I think all of this looks the same. Now, if you guys watched my, I think it was beta three video, my phone had a catastrophic failure where it just completely glitched out. I had to reboot it literally five times just to get it to power on properly and work right. Like everything was messed up. After that happened, a bunch of these toggled on that I did not turn on, like tons of the, like I think everything was on, even this product improvement, which I've never had on. So if you're on the beta right now, after this video, go into settings and check this stuff and make sure that they're all the right way that you want it. Go watch some of our other videos where we tell you which ones you need, but this is a quick overview of the good ones. So yeah, just check those because Apple's being a little bit shaky with what they're doing with moving that stuff around and turning stuff on that you know you don't want on. And while you're at it, also check and make sure your analytics is turned off. I personally don't like that on. So overall performance has been much better on this beta. Smoothness is definitely up there. This is the best one yet. I'm so happy, I'm pumped that Apple is finally getting this thing ironed out because the past couple betas have been fine, but this extra speed just feels so good after you've been you know, dealing with something that's not quite as fast as what you're expecting. So very good upgrade here. If you're on beta four, definitely upgrade to this immediately. I can't tell you much about battery life, but beta four battery life was okay. It was decent. It was about on par with what I was expecting. This one should be even better. My phone is not incredibly warm right now, so that's a good sign. And based on the smoothness and stuff, that usually is a good gauge of you know, how battery efficient a version is gonna be, and this one should be pretty good. But of course, I will send out an update video very soon to let you guys know if I have any hiccups or any new discoveries with this beta, but mostly there's no new features in this one for the most part. It's just a lot of refinements and it's getting very good, guys. This iOS 17 update is going to be awesome. I'm super excited for it. I'm super excited for everyone to try it out and have it on their phones because the more people that have iOS 17, the better the experience is for everyone. So check this beta out, guys. If you haven't already, it's awesome. It's definitely the best one yet. If anything weird pops up, 
up, we'll definitely let you know. And we're going to have an updated video very soon. If you like this one, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.